not at this point. What's the worst that could happen? I'll try it not works. To say anything weird What's that? Stream. I'll try to watch my language on stream. Who cares? What are they gonna do? Flag me and like take it down for my 22 followers? Look at that streaming. That's nice. All right. <clears throat> um, yeah. No, our games tend to get chaotic, and uh, last week was crazy, or the week before. I should say, we'll do a recap anyways, for anyone who's listening or tuning in. What do, what do you say? Tuning in for this or whatever? Yeah, I'd say tuning in. I don't know. Anyone who is curious and comes across this page, welcome to 2096. Uh, it's a post-apocalyptic role-playing game set in the not-so-distant future on an Earth that's, well, fucked. Uh, you got robots, you got cyborgs, you got AIs, you got desert, you got worms. Uh, and a bunch of knuckleheads trying to get mushrooms, I guess. It was the last few games. Uh, let's see here. Hold on. Uh, why don't you introduce yourselves? Start with uh, you there, Patrick. Tell us who you're playing. Uh, and give us a little recap, if you want, on the game last time. Tell me what you remember. Yeah, I'll be playing as Kevin, the... Uh now paranoid homeless mushroom farmer uh short guy trying to become a bounty hunter with all the gear he scrounged up off of dead bodies in the city uh trying to gain some money because we are broke by stealing some very expensive mushrooms apparently uh we went into the facility talked our way in past the main guards and uh Left off in a quite a tight spot. About to get blown to bits. Yeah. So that's basically, uh, yeah, that's, that's Kevin. Brian, tell us a little bit about who you're playing. Uh, I'm playing as a uh, Baldrick, um, uh, a an, old, an old drug mule that uh, left his boss and now is uh, back at his feet to pay his debt to him. And uh, as Patrick said, we were quite in the pickle last time. But before that, he blew his eyebrows off, and that amazed me. Oh yeah, forget about that. <laughs> how, how did you make, like, a worm oil ale into a bomb? That good. Well, you, you, I, I promote you to our local chemist. That's a bad idea, but I'll take it. <laughs> Congratulations. Alright, <clears throat> let's see, yeah, uh, pretty much a couple of one-shots turned into a ongoing, persistent campaign. You guys haven't died yet, so we'll just continue with these guys until we have a few more players, and then we'll do with this, uh, one of these awesome large-scale stories. Uh, but in the meantime, this one is unraveling, uh, as you guys, I believe, are in Needless. Um, you did, you ended up being saved, some some stuff happened, you guys got torn apart by some street punks, uh, you may have died, you were saved um, by Liviosa, which is uh, one of the player characters or characters, persistent characters I guess within the, the world now, um, but she took your money in exchange for saving your lives. Um, so you guys are pretty much, uh, yeah, without money, you guys ended up going to the uh, old boss who thought you were dead or whatnot, um, but comes to find out that you still owe them a lot of money, so he's like, guess what? We'll do this. We're gonna outfit you, you're gonna go get these mushrooms, uh, which were truffles, by the way. Uh, very sought after truffles, because coincidentally, one of you is a mushroom farmer, and truffles just made a lot of sense, because it's something very, very rare uh, in this world. I mean, in ours too, but you know. Uh, yeah, so we outfitted you, said that you're going to be paying it back, and you guys, uh, well, shenanigans happened from there on out. Uh, some people lost fingers. I believe you two are both fingerless, or have lost a finger. Yeah. Um, there was some yeah. drinking involved. <laughs> and uh, you guys basically ended up in a kill box with sentry turrets deploying over your heads. I believe... Uh, that's where we left it. Yeah, that, that's where we left it last time. Okay, so we're gonna start this off. We're gonna give you a go, go with the initiative. Right off the bat. Alright. Alright, let's get our first net one of the day. Yeah, boy. That's my goal.
Let's see what can I get. Oh, Oi, starting off strong. Holy shit. Today might be our lucky day. <clears throat> All right, Ryan, you are going first. You are in a kill box. Uh, for those that don't know, it's simply a room with doors and sentry turrets. Uh, a, kind of like a quarter. It's not very wide. You're looking at like a meter and a half, maybe two meters, uh, about four meters long. Uh, two sentry turrets come out of the room. What are you going to do? Uh, the ceiling, I should say. Well, uh, is there anything that I can take cover on? The room is, uh, yes, you actually have one, one person in there with you, um, which would be uh, Kevin. Like do <laughs> Otherwise, there's no uh, cover, no. It's literally just a hallway with two sentry turrets that just deployed from the ceiling. And am a door. I the one person in the room with him? Yes, you are. Yeah. He's trying to use his cover? Well, I just said that, you know, there is, he asked if there is cover, I said yes, Kevin is Kevin. standing there. Alright, well, uh, I know what I'm gonna do, uh, run the opposite way of the turrets. Okay. You are running, okay. um, I'm trying to think, who lost their trigger finger, didn't you? I think that was you, right? Yeah, right. I have my Yeah, so just make sure that whenever you do anything, you get a negative one. For attacks, yeah, you know, since you have no longer a trigger finger. Anyways, all right, you run, uh, you run past <laughs> Kevin and head towards <laughs> the exit door. Uh, Kevin, you know, run like hell. Uh, uh, give me a luck check. Fuck yeah, with who me? Yeah, you. Oh, I see. This is not good. All right, let's see. Plus four. Pray for me, gentlemen. Pray for me. Pray for both of us at this point. That's God is dead. All right, you're running to the door. I'll leave it at that for a second. Kevin, you're up. I'm following in pursuit. All right. Ye yelling like, what the fuck? As you both turn and run towards the door, the turrets open fire. Oh no. You guys make it to the door. You push the door open and run outside. I'm not going to tell you what I rolled for the turrets. Let's just say there is a problem. They did not fire oh, at no. you as I wanted them to. Let's go! High five! You run yeah, outside the building. Still be running. Which way are you headed? Uh, what are our directions that right. we can take? You can keep going across the street, you take a right or a left outside of the building. Uh, you're called Patrick. Fucking right. Alright, right is always right, I guess. Alright, you guys take off running down the street to the right. Uh, there is no gunfire behind you. It does not look like you are being pursued. Uh, where or what you are doing? You're running down the street, full speed, both of you. Oh, hold on, stop. let's head from the back, okay? Let's not go from the front this time. I think yeah. that those, but those turrets didn't go off. Uh, you think they're busted? No, I think a facility like that, they would have maintained their shit. So I think we just got lucky as fuck. Maybe they didn't actually want to fire at us. Maybe they were just trying to see how we would react to that. Yeah, true. Uh, but yeah, the... uh, we, we need to come up with another plan, apparently. Yeah, I'm surprised that the old team successfully got in. Well, I don't know. If... Uh, can we look around the building to see if there's any other entrances except the front door? Sure, are you going to stop running? <clears throat> yeah. And we should find an alleyway to duck off into. To just see if we're yeah, being followed. Yeah. Alright, Wait, oh shit, we pulled. Did we, didn't we, like, put our guns in a box or something like that? Yeah, they got all our raw weapons. Shit. Wait, hold on, you still have your crowbar, Patrick, right? Yes, I did manage to keep that, but I don't think it's gonna be much good. Trust me, I'll hold the guy, you hit him. 
I say we try to talk, talk our way back in, man. Like, just not walk inside the kill box this time. See if we can convince one of them to come out and talk to us. Like, Jesus I, Christ. I, I, I'll try and, you know, be like, uh, yo, hey, uh, that was not very cool. Uh, we're, we're just mushroom from trying to work, okay? Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Something, like, you know, not too fancy. Maybe talk to one of the ones on the outside. Yeah, I'll, I'll try. Uh, we would like to head back and try and talk to them. All right, you guys head back up to the front door. Ca cautiously, like cautiously. off to the side, not directly in front of it. All right. As you approach the front door, you do see two, I guess two of the uh, facility security outside, or, you know, in light vests and stuff, and they're kind of just like looking around the street. Uh, you're not sure exactly if they're looking for you or not, did, 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 did. but they seem think, somewhat think... undisturbed. Do, do you think they came out after the turret didn't fire? I don't think they would have come out after that. All right. Uh. Well, uh, I'll try. Well, well, just keep your guard up, okay? Just in case. They notice you okay. as you approach. I take it that's what you're doing? Yeah. Uh, yes, sir. All right. They look over and you. they kind of smirk. You guys took off pretty quick, huh? Well, yeah, fuck it. We're just standing there trying to talk, and then I guess the guys in the inside got spooked, and some turrets fell out of the goddamn ceiling at us. I'm surprised we made it out of there. Huh. I kind of give each other looks of, uh, well, they're surprised surprised that you did make it out of there honestly they're like yeah uh, those turrets should have taken you assholes out well they didn't we're still alive and well yeah uh can we just get our shit back man like apparently they don't want our expertise hmm they looked at each other again uh give me a charisma check boys all right oh, i shall give it for i have a natural 12 on that yes, oh. please, please. Yeah, that's uh, right. I'll give up the natural 12. Fuck yeah. Let's go. Light work. Light work. <laughs> You're like, yeah, you know what? We don't want your shit anyways. And it's not top line or anything, so. I mean, I, I, I Except, grew the lollipop on there. Uh, did you take your vests off? Remember those nice vests? Uh, no, I, I didn't. I didn't. You just, just the weapons, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah just the weapons. All right, they give you shit back. They don't really care. They kind of like scoff as they give it to you. It's like, what is this crap? All right, thank you. Bet that's why we're looking for work so we can at least buy some better fucking gear, man. I pulled most of the shit off of dead people. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong, though. The two guards kind of like fidget a little bit, and one kind of like puts his hand on his holster. Ah, well, you're not taking our weapons. Uh, I'd probably not be able to if I wanted to. So what was your deal anyways, one of them asked. Well, we just came by asking them if they would accept us mushroom farmers, <coughs> mushroom farmers, uh, you know, for some work. But they don't seem to be very interested in us. Yeah, I mean, we specialize in growing and transporting mushrooms. Figured this would be a good place to look. You know, you think that they would... Let you guys work for him. You must have said something pretty fucking stupid, huh? Well, uh, my, my partner here isn't, like, the brightest. He doesn't really know all that much about the mushroom industry. We kind of ran into each other uh, on one of my transport missions. Oh. Freaking for my previous employer before uh, that operation got shut down. Oh, we thought he was your and, uh, bitch, honestly. What? They kind of chuckle as they said that I look over at you Aldrich. man what do you mean Kevin just shrugs as your um how's your finger by the way did you I forget what happened to that you haven't gotten it reattached right and did, neither you, of them did you bandage your yeah, fingers yeah. gentlemen lately I, I believe we did I believe we did bandage it 
They kind of. Yeah, no, I had time in the hotel. Yeah. The room you guys rented. That's right. They kind of uh, look at you guys, and one points out, <laughs> points his trigger finger at you. You guys uh, seem to be getting. Uh, well, you're missing a couple digits there, huh? We got jumped. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Let's just say we're. Uh... We lost a couple of things. I'll tell you what, I'm surprised that these guys didn't hire you for this. I mean, it's mushroom farming. It's not really like it's, it's working on cybernetics or anything, you know? Yeah. yeah. I mean, they got an impressive setup in there. Although I noticed some uh, trouble with a little bit of the water supply they got with the growing gel. I don't think it's the right consistency, you know? Oh, no? Well, see, we wouldn't know that because we're not mushroom fucking farmers. We're just security. Hey, y'all need we... security? We can do that, too. <laughs> they chuckle. Ah, uh, I'd see you guys anything. better mushroom farmers than, than security, honestly. Probably. Yeah. Kind of look back at each other and like, all right, well, you got your stuff. Point down the street. All right, see ya. Hey, uh, I'm gonna like try to give him my contact info. Like, well, if anybody changes their mind and are looking for us, you can reach me at this. They look at each other. One of them kind of shrugs, pulls out his comm term, and uh, takes your information. We'll let you know if there's some mushrooms that need farming. All right, much appreciated, and uh, uh, I'm gonna leave. Okay. All right, come on, come on, let's go. You guys head out of the area. Where are you headed? All right. Do, do you want to try and scout out the area from the back or something like that? See if there's another entry point. I think we need to try to find more work before we do that one. I mean, That's we weren't nice. given a time limit on when we had to get in there were we no we were not i don't know he, he just had to go and get the mushrooms okay That's it. cool uh because i think we need to recuperate a little bit i mean uh we're both fingerless yeah well you you need to start practicing with your offhand so you can at least hit things uh, i mean we're the fingerless gang at least and we got that going for us i guess yeah I still have my finger in my pocket. Wanna take wanna lick it? Uh no. You're weird. You licking uh, your own nope. damn finger. Alright. <clears throat> As you guys are walking away from the area. Uh perception checks, please. Let's see. Oh no. Oh no, this is not good. Please, Eleven, help me. Not too shabby. You notice a group of your favorite things. Favorite things in this in this game. A group of punks who are Favorites. eyeing you. Uh, some of them look somewhat familiar. If you could remember um, colors that the group was wearing, or more specifically that that guy that killed you and that whole incident, they're wearing yeah. the same kind of colors. And they eye you as you guys approach. Let's let's keep walking. Uh, wait, hold on. Where are they coming from? Uh, if you're headed down the street towards them, right now. Okay. Uh, do is there uh, like uh, an alleyway we can go into? Sure is. There's an alleyway right to your right. Yeah. All right, back. You know what? Back. I'm gonna just start walking toward towards him and yell, hey, "We're looking for fucking work. You got any leads?" What? Why are you trying to kill us? Let's ambush them and, tear and take their shit. They here. They look at each other curiously. You, you trying to talk to us? I mean, it's just you and us on the street, I guess. Like, you you got any leads for work? They kind of look at each other and like, I can't believe this guy. 
You don't remember recognize us? Patrick, Patrick, it's a bad idea. I'll take that as a no, huh? No, not really. I mean, there's a lot of people in this fucking place, I guess. That's I've true. I've been hitting the head a few times. Well, so there's things a, are kind of fuzzy. There's about to be two less people in Needless, they say, as they start walking towards you guys. Uh, that alleyway that you were going, well, that you looked at, uh, to thought about going down, all of a sudden the vehicle pulls out from behind you, comes to a stop. <laughs> And a couple more of these guys get out. Ah, shit. Behind you. Oh, no. This they is pull not, out okay, their weapons. Uh, and they attack. Initiative. Uh, this is not good, Patrick. This is not good. I hope you have your shotgun ready. It's always ready. Oh, we would have been stuck in that way with the vehicle anyway, so I would have. <laughs> well, I'm Where it got too well. I don't, have, I don't have my MP5 because it broke down last time. I'll just hand you my crowbar. <laughs> no, I don't worry, I got my S5 pistol, I got this. Nobody tries to fight me, I am the best, worst gun trigger in the West. Kevin, you are up first. Uh, Kevin just sighs. Like, really guys? Really this again? Come on! It's like, not like we even have fucking shit. And, uh... Yeah, the the one who spoke before, I'm gonna just fucking unload into him. Alright, give me an attack roll, please. Kevin! 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 Oi, that is not damage. very nice. <clears throat> oh? Kevin, the damage it hit apparently. Oh, uh, I didn't hear that. Yeah, sorry, you're doing a uh, auto, right? Yes. Yep. So give me your damage. I sorry about that. Hit. Uh, I think you didn't get it. What are the rounds per turn on that thing? Uh, I think it's. Three, four, five. Eight. Uh... All right, you unload eight rounds at him. This. All right. <clears throat> he sees you uh, pull out this rifle or this uh, assault shotgun. Is it an assault shotgun? It is, right? I believe. Yes. Uh, he grabs the guy in front of him and holds him in front. Uh, who he gets just torn apart by your rounds uh, and he falls you actually actually wounded him too uh, his buddy is dead oh that, that is kind of grim just gonna yell out can we just not do this today right every day we run into this guy Ryan you're up all right so uh how many guys are near me by the way uh, there's two behind you and one in front, or uh, two left in front of you now. That one of them was destroyed. All right. Uh, I pull out to my S5 pistol, which is very pretty. I stuck a lollipop on there, and uh, I'm gonna fire the guy in front of me. My car. Okay, give me a attack. All right. Uh, I'm doing full auto. I but yeah, my pistol does full auto. So I'm gonna do full auto on the guy. All right, give me oh, an attack. Oh, that's not good. Give me an attack roll. Ooh, nice. Please. Twelve. Hey, not bad. Uh, what's the round per turn on that? Uh, ten. Yeah, some two hundred fifty damage. Look at that. That's cool. You fire rounds. At them, you hit one. In the leg, he falls to his knee, but he's able to fire back at you. Dunk, dunk, dunk. Shit. Does he hit? 
as he fires, the shotgun that he has explodes in his face. And someone rolled a woolen. No. I wonder who that happened to as well. He falls to the ground. Also dead. You see the uh, the leader, the boss man, if you will. He pulls out his Uzi and fires. <laughs> a couple of sprays coming your way. Oh, shit. Uh, oh, no. Luckily, he doesn't hit his guys behind you. He does hit <laughs> guys twice. Let's see. Oh my lord! Dun, 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 dun. Uh, hold on. Let me that break to me is gonna be a good game for us. Let me see. Where is the hit chart? Mind you, I am not rolling in roll twenty. I am rolling dice off screen. Uh, where's my hit chart? There it is. Nine, right arm. Uh, Ryan, what do you got in your right arm? Anything? Uh, I got uh, something called a big fat zero. All right, take eight points as a round, just barely hits your arm, or does hit your arm, I should say. Uh, da -da 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 -da. It's uh, it's cool not being those bullet sponges just go around. No, for once. Yeah, it's pretty fun, eh? Wait, wait, you take that over? Yep. And then... Yeah. Your How left... much damage do I remove, sir? Ah, uh, shit. Maybe I should roll and roll 20. Oh, damn. Uh, what did I say? Anyone paying attention? Five? Six? I mean, I'll re-roll the damage if you want. But yeah, yeah you eight said eight. Points. Eight points. Eight? Yep. And then your left leg, you got anything there? Uh, I got a big fat zero, too. Does that count? Yeah. That's perfect. For uh, all right, you take uh, eighteen points of damage as a round tears into your leg. Bow! You now we know this game. Uh, that's a heavy wound. You're going to be losing six per round. Oh come if on! It's not taken care of. All right, Patrick. Uh, time to me to tell you goodbye, and I'm going to die. Uh. Is there... Fuck it. Wait, what's your health? Did you go down already? Uh, no, not really. I'm still up. Okay. That's what I thought. You guys should have been uh, pretty much full, right? Yeah, I'm full. I was at 53 because I blew myself up a little bit. Yeah, with that goddamn moonshine of yours. Well, that's what happens when you put a shotgun shell and moon, uh, worm shine. Gives you an extra bit of kick. Initiative! Let's go! Don't roll six dice. Don't roll six dice. Fuck, I'm not going first. Please let me go first. Damn, I'm not going first. Uh, you I'm are, nine, yeah, nine, that nine. That nine will go first. Excuse Let's me. go, alright. So the big, bo the big mean boss man, you know that kind of guy? Yeah, he just fired a couple bursts at you guys, uh, and actually him firing prevented the guys from behind you firing because they jumped out of the way. They're like, oh, fuck, you're not stupid. All right, I pull out my uh, shiny uh, pistol again, reloaded, of course, and uh, I let him, you know, have a piece of my mind. All right, give me an attack roll, please, first. That's gonna, uh, that's gonna be another burst. That's just one. Uh, another, uh, uh, <clears throat> well, you're using the auto, right? Yeah. So another give me, three. Yep. Yeah, so give me one, one. Hold on. Let me look here because I know okay. we were doing this wrong before. So I wanted to check out. What are you using? Your S five. Yeah. So yeah, those so ten, ten rounds per turn. Magazine's ten. So you reload, and then you're gonna. So yeah. I need an attack roll first, not your damage. Oh. All right. Now I can have. Your damage, which is 3d12. All right. Because I need that attack roll when we're doing auto, you know, see if it misfires. And also tells me the percentage of rounds that hit them. In which case, 120 points, you got pretty low. So here's how it works. I take that. Well, that's not very cool. 120, and then I divide that by 5. And you did 24 points of damage to him. Hey, As a vest, are, so you did 10. There we go. Yeah, at least something. There you go. It is. You did at least something. <laughs> to him. 
<clears throat> nothing at least. Since two of his guys are down, he uh, looks at you and he fires again. Since you're uh, firing at him, he's firing back at you. Uh, you're yeah, not going to like this, but he's going to do a full auto. Oh, no, that is not very nice. Hopefully I roll a one on this. Oh, no, I did not roll a one. His attack oh, roll is good. 17 rounds. 2d12 times 17. This is going to suck for you guys, but... Hold on. You guys got those nice, nice, uh, vests on, huh? Yeah, we do. Yeah, I might say your asses. What is that? Negative five pen, right? Uh, yeah, it's a level five. All right, hold on. Let me do this percentage. Um, bear with me in a second. All right, <clears throat> he fires. He unloads Uzi, uh, spits lead at you guys. <laughs> As he just sprays rounds fly at you and ricochet off of your uh, torso, which is actually bulletproof with a negative five. So his rounds don't do anything to your torso. However, you each take 17 points of health. Oh, damn. Patrick, we, don't, we are not looking too shabby, are we? Uh, we're not looking good, boss. Yeah, this is not good. Um, and once again, that is another heavy wound that you two have. Oh, God. Done. So that is going to be now two heavy wounds for you. So it's going to be 12 points of health on your turn. I believe it's your turn right now, isn't it? Yeah, so uh, let me see. So with this minus uh, the 12. Oh, great. That's not good. <laughs> what do you have? Let me see. Am I down for the count? Uh, I am still up like a champion. We got one more round left in you, I think. Yeah, one more, one more game, Chief. One more game. Uh, and Kevin, you also took a heavy wound, correct? Yes. Okay. And I believe it is uh, Baldrick's turn. All right, Chief. Let's go. Wait. Let, let me is, that, is that right? Who rolled what for initiative? Who got the nine? Yeah. Yeah, I got the nine. Yeah, I got the one. Yeah. All right. So. Yeah. yeah. So wait, hold on. It's Patrick's turn, isn't it? Yeah. Is? Yeah. Sorry. That's what I was trying to figure out. My initiative boy disappeared on me. Yeah, Patrick, you are up. You both get yeah, sprayed with the Uzi. I'm gonna fucking reload and go full auto on the boss guy again. All right, he's completely, pretty much exposed coming at you head on. Uh, to give me an attack roll. You reload. That sucks for him. Uh, give me your damage, please. Man, you cooked him. You cooked him. Oh that boy. Is a, that is a very nice female Leon. That is very beautiful. All right. <clears throat> you fire at him. He pretty much just unloads at you guys. He's running straight for you as his two buddies are dead. You <laughs> reload your assault shotgun and fire. <laughs> uh, you tear him apart. Uh, you can think about his leg getting blown off and losing an arm. Uh, part of his chest getting blown apart as you totally just destroy him. He falls to the ground in a bloody mess. Uh, seeing this, the two guys that were behind you, which somehow did not get hit in the fray, you know, once he started shooting, they kind of like separated. Um, they start to take off. They're like, fuck this! And they're turning and running. You guys have a free so, shot or a round or an action? 
So in other words, we oh, have wow. the car. Yeah, they leave the car. <laughs> yeah, they're running. The car is still, Let's go. still there. Got a new fucking, I'm just gonna yell out behind him. If I fucking see you again, I'm gonna rip your heads off, you fucking assholes. I'm back again, boys. All right, <clears throat> they run off. You do not. Uh, you let them run off. They disappear, leaving the vehicle and the massacre there. Um, Boldrick, you can take another 12 points of health. Yeah, uh, Boldrick starts to double and falls onto the ground. He is not very good looking. And uh, Kevin can take six points. Boldrick, are you down? Uh, Boldrick is down for the count. Okay, what is, what is your health at? Negative five. Nice. So, yeah, Kevin, you see Boldrick, he celebrates, he's like, ah, yeah, and then he just passes out and falls to the ground, bleeding out okay. on the pavement Again? in front Again? of you. Every time, Baldrick, every goddamn time. <laughs> uh, I'm going to start searching the vehicle and bodies for a stim I can give this guy. All right, give me a luck check, please. Oh, come on, please come in with the clutch again. I believe oh, in you. Man. I believe. I can fly. I you do. I believe <clears throat> As you uh, start to rummage through the vehicle, um, you find a duffel bag. The duffel bag is filled with all kinds of fun stims, including some medical stims. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna sit him in the back of the, the car and pump him full of medical shit. Okay. You start pumping him full of medical stims. Uh, let me see. Give me a 2d12. <laughs> Come on. I believe, I believe, I believe. The Lord has had mercy on us. Yeah, double nine, so it's nice. Double nine. All right, Baldrick, you are at one health. You are not awake. You are still unconscious. <laughs> Kevin, you take another four points of health. I might, you might want to treat yourself first. Well, I'm going to treat myself now that he's stable. Okay. If I can. You can. <laughs> um, and they were advanced. So you're at full. Uh, your wound starts to close and heal over as the nanites enter your system. Now, in a typical Kevin fashion, I'm going to dip my hand in the guy's blood that we destroyed and write Kevin was here on another wall. Okay. I'm gonna do that every single time one of these guys jumps us. You're right, Baldic was here. Kiss, kiss. <clears throat> you, uh... There's, you know, a couple people who have kind of, like, popped their heads back out now that the commotion and the uh, gunfire, the weapons fire has uh, subsided. And they watch as you go over and you dip your hand in the bloody pool and start writing. In blood, Kevin was here. You see a little child look up at you. Disgusted and run off. Tell everybody, kid! This is what happens when you fuck with Kevin! Man, fuck them kids. Then I'm gonna search the truck to see what else is in that thing. Alright. <clears throat> um, there's some recovery gear. There's not much else in the vehicle itself. And Baldrick wake up from his long slumber. Not yet. I'll let you know when. Right now. Okay. You're uh, staring at the back of your eyelids while Kevin searches the vehicle. Uh, 
What else are you doing there, buddy? Freaking did uh yeah, I'm gonna search the dead guys for the vault cards and anything else they might have. Yes, they all have vault cards. You find three vault cards, three com terms. Another grouping of stims. Blades, obviously there are two Uzis. <clears throat> uh, the shotgun is not useful right now because it was blown up. Ammunition. A couple of protein blocks. They also have the assortment of, uh, you know, earrings and stuff. I don't know how far you want to go or... Good Yeah, I'm gonna go over to Baldrick see if he's awake yet. <clears throat> Alright, he's still unconscious when you get over there. He seems to be restlessly stirring, painfully restlessly stirring. Very and good. as he opens his okay. eyes, finally. Baldrick, uh, you don't feel very well. Again. Again. <laughs> For the hundredth time in the last couple of sessions of you being knocked the F out. But you open your eyes and you see Kevin standing over you. Blood dripping off of his hands. Hey, 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 blood, you gotta stop going down on me like that, you know? Did we win? Yeah, I won. Yay! I think uh, you still my... lost, though. My body hurts. Oh. As it should. You just lay back there. We're gonna drive the fuck away from here if we can. I'm gonna start trying to get this vehicle to go. Yippee car. Unfortunately, I don't have the driving skill. Don't worry. So do I, so I don't have the same. Uh, give me an intelligence check then. Oh fuck. Not you. You're in back. Just for Kevin. Okay, good. Yeah, you're you're dying. Yeah, you're you're just so, like, you're just slowly regaining health. As the nanites try to fix your fucked up system. Yeah, like, not, what the fuck is this shit? Unfortunately, the nanites will not grow back your appendage, your missing finger. Sorry about that. Oh. All right. Uh, even though you do not have driving as a skill, uh, it doesn't really take a rocket scientist. You figure out to start the ignition. You find one of the vault cards. Uh, that actually the boss man had. Uh, actually, did he? I guess it starts. Yeah, it starts the vehicle. That's fine. But on a question, what what kind of car is it? Like, is it an open top or is it a closed top? Uh, it's a sedan. A very beat up oh. sedan. Yeah, it's better than nothing. It Fuck smells. Yeah, we got a mobile home. Smells like rancid, <laughs> uh, sweat, and just bo inside of it. I mean, isn't that like the charm of with a little sedan? with a little bit of curry? Let's throw curry in there too. Yeah, okay. Ooh, Kevin's used to that, man. That's like home. It's back home. You start the vehicle. It purrs to life. Where are you going? Okay. What are you doing? Bald, Baldrick, what, what do we what do you want to do now, bud? Let's get a place and rest for a bit, okay? I, uh, uh my body. I'm gonna throw Baldrick the uh, fault cards. Like, go, go ahead and see how much is on this shit, so we can see if we can afford a place to rest. Okay. Who's rolling for this? I am. All right, give me three D twelve. Uh, I'll do 1d12 to, you know, uh, hopefully, you know, get the, the lucky charms, oh, yeah. if you know what I'm saying. That's fine, so. Yeah, there we go. There's one. Why is there there is a number. Why do you know two. that? It's a plus four. There's no pluses in this. Uh, no, no, those are, those pluses are the luck. They don't, no. Is it not luck? No, not for these. Oh, okay, my bad. Then I'll, ju I'll just do. Um, sorry for the secret time. I'll just do. I'll just do this. Let's do 3d12. 4, 12. There we go. 
Merry Christmas. Uh, oh! If there was four. Give me one second. Uh, there was four, correct? No, there's only three cards. Oh, shit, my bad. I'll just use the first three rolls, 12, 3, and 10. That's nice. <clears throat> we got uh, some done. Yep, so you got 13 and that D12, uh, that 12, I'll, I'll give it to you. Uh, you did roll four die, though, but. Yeah. Uh, give me one more D12 for that 12 you rolled. Oh, that one. Why oh. not? One D12. Please, God, have mercy on my soul. And you oh, find 20,000 20, on that. Yeah. Okay, so hold on, uh, 20,000? Yep. And? So you got a total of, I can add, 20, 30, 3,000 credits on the three vault cards. Look at that, that's a nice number. 3,000? 30. 3,000. Oh, 30, okay. Uh, I, I, I go, but, Kevin, we got 30k, we got 30k, boy! My fucking god, let's find a place to... Rest up and heal up for a bit. Let's go back to that lady. I don't know about that man. We kind of just like pissed in the room, and that 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 doesn't seem like a great idea. All right, yeah, you know what? Fair enough, fair enough. But I was just you know saying that because it was pretty cheap back then. We got a little bit of money now. Uh, Kevin, okay, let, since you're, go... you're driving and you're talking to Baldrick, I need a, uh, a luck check, please. Oh, fuck. We're not gonna hit a kid over. Say that. Give ideas. I'm sorry, man. I'm of course, of course, of course, I'm rolling two after you give dumb ideas. Come on, man. Give me a speed I'm so check. Sorry. Speed check, please. Speed. Speed. I am speed. Prove it. Just it. All right. <clears throat> As you're talking to him, uh, you are somewhat distracted, looking around. Uh, not so great with this driving thing, even though it's, you know, fairly straightforward. But all of a sudden, a kid runs out in front of you. You're wearing wow. a teddy bear backpack. <laughs> Oh, no. Fortunately, you're able to avoid said kid with teddy bear backpack. He looks, you hear him yell, you Fucking watch where you're going, you assholes! Fucking sl slam my brakes and stop. <laughs> okay, you slam your brakes and stop. Gonna pop out like, Hey, sorry about that, this is my first time driving. He grabs the front straps on his teddy bear backpack, kind of rocks back and forth, looks at you with a, an expression of, what are you doing? You see him contemplating something. And he finally just turns and walks off. Yeah, we definitely look like idiots in this town. Well, you almost made a big boy mistake. Uh, you're currently in the middle of the street with the door open and the car stopped. The vehicle stopped. Oh yeah, now we're gonna get in and keep going down. Now, we're gonna look on the comp term for places to crash for the night. Okay. I, I can look for it. You keep your eyes on the road, goddammit. Hey, well, we... I recommend what we do is we find a place to hide with the car, and we just stay in the car for the night. Otherwise, it's gonna get stolen. Well, let's go to the outskirts. Uh, it's the best place, I think. Alright, yeah, that's a good idea. Let's do that. Alright. <clears throat> you guys head towards the outskirts of Needless. Um, do you remember, there's a lot of warehouses and abandoned buildings and stuff, so it's not hard to find a nice little area which you think would be safe to rest um i'm trying to think what huh what time what what's the time of day do we remember i uh, i remember we we came it was the middle of the morning we went to the bar then after we went to the guys then after we all did all this now 
Oh, I would say the sun's coming up, huh? <clears throat> Yeah, we, we, uh, we, last time uh, we came out, it was 9, and uh, I remember that because uh, we were at the hotel. Gotcha. In other words, it's about to get very hot. Well, that's not very good. Especially for being in a vehicle. <clears throat> uh, where are you going with this vehicle, specifically? The area kind of is a warehouse district. You're in. If we could find a, an abandoned warehouse to like try to break into and pull the whole vehicle into, that would be ideal. There are warehouses everywhere. You drive around looking for one. Um, <clears throat> and you do. There, you're, it's not hard to find a, a warehouse that looks fairly open uh, with nothing in it. It's partially collapsed. It's got a partially collapsed roof um, however it does look like you could probably fit your vehicle in there yeah we're gonna give that a go go for it man all right you pull into the warehouse and park hopefully getting some boom, shade boom. as the sun is rising higher and higher in the sky what would you guys like to do in the meantime well, uh, the, the car, the, did you grab the, their comms? Yeah, I have grabbed you... all, all three comm terms. Well, how about, you know, we do something very funny and look what's on there and see who's their main boss. I'm, I'm gonna give him the comm terms, but, like, knock yourself out on that one. I'm going to attempt to repair my leg armor. Alright, I'm, I'm gonna try uh, and, you know, recuperate all my blood uh, while doing this. <clears throat> okay, you notice on the seat next to you is the um, duffel bag filled with various stims. Uh, and you see one that does appear to be a medical stim. Would you like to take it? Uh, no, I'll pass. <laughs> okay, you are still uh, pretty hurt. Obviously, it didn't heal yeah, you all the way to full. Uh, Kevin looks like he's doing pretty good, actually. Yo, Kevin, after, would you care to treat my wounds after? Uh, sure, and I'm gonna grab the stem he didn't want to take, and I'm gonna hit him with it. Okay. Ooh! <laughs> just, just without warning, just stab him right in the fucking thigh. There, wounds checked! Uh, the fuck did he eject me with? Well, I'll tell you in a second. I don't even know. Let me find him. Where are my stems? Oh, this is gonna be good. I was gonna have you roll intelligence, but you know what? <clears throat> yeah, it's too late. He already fucking stabbed you, so hold on. Uh, we're, Thanks, gonna, Patrick. we're gonna roll. Hey, you asked me to check your wound. I checked it. I mean, you did. Thanks, I guess. I gotta cut this down. <laughs> Health and recovery. Where are my stems? Come on, stems. Hold on. Bear with me. Like, come on, you, you ask the crazy guy who drinks gunpowder and, and As, writes in blood on the walls to check I over mean, your I, wounds. Come on, man. I mean, I, you're the only option, and I, I'm scared. I don't think that was a very good idea, because now we got two crazy dudes now. I'm gonna go bananas. Hey, <laughs> bear with me one second, guys. I'm trying to navigate through this clusterfuck of... And yeah, now... There they are. Feel bald, drink some good old ecstasy or whatever. They're, they're right, right before the um, page that goes over addictions. So this is gonna be fun. Uh, give me a, a d12 and tell me what you roll. Oh lord, have mercy on me. Actually, you. give me two d12. Oh no. Fuck off. You got this. I don't got this. Okay. I got a 9 and a 7. <coughs> oh, okay, that's fun. <clears throat> you are, uh... You're very chilled right now. Oh. Uh, even though you want to bitch about it, you can't. You're unable to. Uh, you are at full... Oh, nice. It did heal you. <clears throat> but 
but as you're sitting there and you're staring at Kevin, it, it kind of starts like everything starts to skip, kind of like like under a strobe light. Think of it that way. Like you see him, but he starts to like flash. You're also unable to really like talk. Communicate. Yeah. Oh shit. Uh, Kevin, you see him. He gets very calm and relaxed as he just stares at you, wide-eyed, unblinking, wide-eyed. Snap him from his face. Uh, yo, yo, Baldrick, you good there, bud? Baldrick, it's like slow motion. You see him move his hand up to snap his fingers, and it's very—it's just slow. It's like everything around you is in slow motion, and it's flashing. Like the strobes, kind of just blink your eyelids real fast. That's pretty much what you're seeing. But everything is slow. Uh, you can't talk. You can't respond. And we're gonna oh, keep shit. you like this for a while. He's and, and ne- now Kevin's gonna try to see what he just injected him with. All right, give me an intelligence check. Kevin, yeah, sh- should should have looked into this before I stuck you with that. I guess. So what did you inject me with, Doctor? <clears throat> All right, you injected him with friction, but oh, fuck. it was a modified variant of friction. Oh, oh no! Which is why he actually, uh, well, healed to full. So it'd be called friction. Just say type two, which means there are nanites in it. Well, that's good. Uh, ho- hold on, Baldrick. You're gonna have a good time. Uh... Baldrick, you're able to put one hand up, right? And as you look at your hand, your missing finger, you see it start to grow back. Uh... And it continues to grow. And it keeps growing until it starts turning into a tree. Oh, Kevin, you watch him. He holds his hand up and starts to look at it. Still unblinking. As he appears to be looking at where his missing trigger finger was. I just try to put his hand down, you know, like, okay, but we know, we know it's missing. We, we, we know, like, it's, it's not coming back. He still appears to be unable to speak as he just watches you. God, I guess you're going to be useless for a bit. Oh, well, that's kind of my fault. I can't be mad. Uh, yeah, Baldrick, we're just going to let you trip for a little bit. <clears throat> Kevin, what are you doing? I'm going to open up the doors on the car and kind of take uh, my thermal blanket and put over so we're not inside the vehicle. and So we're sitting outside resting. I'm going to try to get freaking Baldrick to move and sit underneath it so he's not out in the open. Uh, give me a strength check for that. Oh, man, that's not, not, not something I'm good at. You better not rip my arms off. I'm not strong enough to rip your arms off. All right. You are able to pull him out of the vehicle and position him. Uh, yep. okay, what's your size? Yeah, you're able to do that. No problem. He didn't fall on his face like I was hoping that he would, but... Uh, yeah, you're just sitting there. <clears throat> Baldrick, you're continuing just to see all these different colors as everything flashes around you. like Just a, a bombardment of strobe lights. And all of a sudden you see a black spot. <gasps> off in the distance. On the other side of the warehouse. And then it's two black spots, and it starts to come towards you. Kind of like some kind of... Uh, What's those things in Harry Potter? Spirit, Dementor. sprite, Dementor. Yeah, you can't really tell what it is, but it's wispy and black, and it looks like there's no light reflecting off of it. <laughs> Kevin Boldrick holds his hand out towards the back side of the warehouse. Still unable to talk or to say anything. Gonna look in that direction to see if I can see any movement. 
Let's see. Give me a perception check. My perception is good at least. Ish. It's not the worst. Okay, today it's the worst. Oh. You don't see anything. <clears throat> Boldrick. They're getting closer. <laughs> You're still un unable to communicate or to make any moaning or noise whatsoever. Your hands still like... held out. You think you stuck in a well? well that's... I'm just gonna talk to him like he's an idiot. This is gonna go on for a while. <clears throat> You're, you're trying to communicate with him like he's an idiot. And all of a sudden, you hear a scurrying sound. Uh, uh, oh, I'm like, what the fuck was that? You look over as this black spot suddenly charges towards you. It's about uh, half a meter in size, we'll say. Kind of looks like a furry little dog, a little cat, something. It's furry. It's furry. You can't tell. You can't really make out what it is in the light, uh, in the shadows, it doesn't seem to be actually reflecting any light, which is a curious. The fuck is that, a hellhound? Uh, no, Chef. Baldrick will be tripping in peace. He will not be rolling. <laughs> Alright, you go first. Nice. What do you like to do? <clears throat> like, fuck! And, yeah. No. Unload a burst into it. Okay. <clears throat> Give me an attack roll, please. Or actually, no. Uh, okay, never mind. Um, you did say a burst, oh, not, not full auto, right? So, we'll just we'll just say you fire once. Uh, it explodes. <laughs> Baldrick, you suddenly see Kevin pull out his shotgun and fire at one of these approaching black spots. The blast is this prismatic effect as he fires. And you see this little black spot turn into just rainbows. Prismatic rainbows around you. Ooh. And everything still strobes. Uh, you killed one. It was a loud explosion. Uh, you are covered in desert rat guts and you hear more scurrying around you uh, fucking I'm gonna shoot the next one gotta give me an attack roll all right you don't need to another do damage. you <clears throat> turn to your right as another one approaches and fire you hit it and blow it apart thing about these okay, guys. Everyone. You look down <clears throat> at your leg suddenly as you see a black spot come and chump down on your leg. The one that you're uh, you were planning on fixing. What's uh what's the armor on that leg? Anything? Uh the right leg was zero. Hmm. Coincidentally, it's rat fangs clump clamp onto you. Uh, and you get to take whole six points of damage. As it starts to gnaw on your leg. And I can give her a two week on rogue. Alright. It does another three points of damage. As suddenly you feel something furry on your back. Chomps on your neck for three points as well. As it just tears into you with its razor sharp bangs. Or teeth, I don't know. Uh, and the other one's not around. Alright, you're up. You have a rat. I'm gonna I'm gonna stomp on the one that's chomping on my leg. I can get rid of that guy. All right, you go to stomp on her, kick it. Give me an attack. Fuck. It remains attached 
for another three points of health. Are you fine, <laughs> bastard? Kevin. Yeah, uh... I'm gonna try to swing it up with the butt of the 12 gauge, because I don't want to shoot it since it's on my leg. Alright, give me an attack <coughs> for your second action. Uh, yeah. Say you hit it. Same damage. D12 plus strength. Oh man, really couldn't land on that 11? Alright, <clears throat> you knock it, you hit it, it flies off of you. A couple of meters lands, looks back at you, and runs right back towards you. Alright, the, uh, the one, you still feel the scurrying on the back of your, uh, on the back. It chomps you for another two points of health. The one that you kicked off, uh, it tries to go back for your leg, but it looks like you hurt its leg, so it falls and unfortunately loses its turn. Baldrick, you can take six points of health. Oh. As he's distracted, there's a rat gnawing on you. Friend! And you're unable to do anything. You look down as this black spot comes up to you. And rainbows and prismatic colors, the strobing and flashing, and you just, you feel okay with it. Trying to eat you. I like this. And I should have... This is nice. <laughs> Let you me guess. Uh, you I know, there's a cool. bunch of combat stims you could have rolled on. <laughs> One of those, but nope. Nice. Good luck, okay. Good job. What the fuck? What the fuck? Why did I let the crazy man do it? I'm so gone. Yeah, yeah I, I, you should never ask the crazy guy for medical anything. Uh, give me an issue. Although, Kevin. I mean, you did save him three, two times in a row. Fucking and I have medical as a skill. <laughs> All right, the rat <laughs> comes back out at you, and it misses. Ooh, you can take another two health there, Baldrick. As it continues to gnaw at you. Uh, and the Ready? other one actually falls off of you, Kevin. And scurries after Baldrick. Fucking okay, hell. Uh, your turn. You got yeah, one. Uh, how much did I lose? Uh, Say again. Take three. Baldrick. Okay. Uh, so you got one rat in front of you, which is gimping towards you. As you hurt its leg. The other one dips it into the vehicle and is gnawing on Baldrick. Uh, I want to try to fucking kick the rat in front of me like a football. Just punt that bitch away. Give me an attack roll. And it almost prepares. Okay. You almost prepares. <laughs> yeah, you punt it. It's gone. It squeals as you kick it. Uh, it slams against the wall, the hard wall of the building, uh, and then lands on the floor, dead. And Lehenny scores! Goal! You have another action. Fuck there. it, Baldrick's too high to even know that happened. <laughs> I wish I would. I wish yeah. I wasn't there. So I'm gonna move over to the vehicle, mm -hmm. and fucking try to grab the first rat. Like, just snatch it off of Baldrick by the back of its neck. Alright, give me a D, uh, give me an attack roll, please. Please be good, please be good, please be good. It was good. Alright, as it's busy gnawing, uh, you were able to grab it by the scuff, rough of the, by its fucking neck. Just its neck, how about that? Oh, you have a rat in your hand. It's not happy. So, uh, let's do an initiative. Death. Joke to death. Oh, whoa, what was that? Uh, initiative. Well, no. Oh. Uh, give me a luck check, please. Fucking threes. Five, yeah. Seven. Alright, you're fine. <clears throat> uh, you're up. You've got a rat. What are you doing with it? 
again, slamming it as hard as I can into the dirt. Alright, give me an attack. Uh, just give me a d12. Some damage. Oh yeah. Oh my god. You smack, it smacks the dirt hard with a thunk and remains motionless. Uh, it doesn't even let out a squeak. As you just squeak. You have another action. I'm gonna grab the other one that's on him. Give me an attack roll. Don't worry, buddy. I'm gonna get him off. Oh, rainbow. All right. It it sees your hand coming and it jumps out of the way. You're not able to. <laughs> give me a, give me another luck check, please. Oh, you fairy bastard! Oh God. Oh. Why can that be a one? It goes to bite your hand. Uh. But fortunately for you, it does not take a finger like I wanted it to. <laughs> it does hit your hand for four points of health, though. <laughs> Initiative. Oh, at least you didn't lose another finger. Yeah, that's, a, that's always plus. I mean, if you did, you would be the leader of the fingers gang. The gang. I don't know if that's a good thing. <laughs> God. <clears throat> I mean, you would have some street. You know, you think you'd go first with that 11, but he got a 12. And it goes to attack you again. Ooh. Uh, give me a luck check again. I really want to take a finger this Other game. Yeah. Wow, you're really oh exceptionally lucky today. Too bad you're not doing those for attack rolls. Uh, no, you're doing pretty good. Yeah, uh, I did a few of those for attack, yeah. Yeah. Roll 20 is licking you guys today. All right. <clears throat> he goes to chomp down on you again, but you are quick enough to get away from him. Uh, he kind of squeaks, and your turn. Oh, you fucking bastard. Uh, I'm going to go in both hands and just try to fucking grab and strangle this stupid little thing. I mean, it's a hack roll. He did it. All right, you grab him. Uh, give me a strength roll. You know your strength is amazing. If you're trying to choke this little guy. Oh, it didn't. How do you get that with two strength? All right. I don't fucking know. The rat squeaks as you grab it and strangle it. It tries uh, in vain to scratch your hands and to bite you. Uh, but you have a firm grip. And eventually, the rat is dead. I'm on the food chain, motherfucker! Cook it, cook it, cook it! You successfully uh, defeated the desert rats. Congratulations. We did it! Yippee! Yeah, I'm definitely gonna gather up the the rats that didn't explode via 12 gauge. Okay. And, and cook them bitches up. Alright, you have four rats. Is this what we call Ratatouille? Uldrick, you're starting to get your speech back. We'll say, uh, Kevin, what else is, is, was there anything else you were doing or you just want to work on uh, cooking rats? Uh, I'm just gonna work on cooking these rats. Okay, <clears throat> we'll say you work on, do you have um, culinary skill? Nope. I'm gonna need you to roll. Oh, fuck. This is not going to be good now, is it? Start to butcher these. Or just tell me, how, how are you cooking these guys? Over a spit? Over a fire? I mean, that's a pretty good way to do it. Baldrick, do you, like, have a camp stove on you? Or anything like that? I got jack shit. Oh, fuck. Yeah, I'm going to use uh, some gunpowder from a shotgun shell to build a small fire with pieces of the warehouse around. All right. He's building a and make a spit to try to just spit roast them. Alright, give me an intelligence check. He's building a rat bomb. You think I'm in the car in safety? <clears throat> Alright. We'll, uh, we'll say you successfully... <laughs> Do not blow yourself up with a shotgun shell this time. Gunpowder. Um, you start a little fire. Uh, Baldrick, you are starting to get back your speech. You can finally talk. 
as you've watched for who knows how many years uh, as Kevin moved around the warehouse in slow motion, uh, started a fire, got some rats together, and put them on a spit. Was cooking them. First thing I'm saying is, ooh, the colors. Yeah, but we know it's pretty. <laughs> Red go boom. Yes, it did. It also tried to eat you. I like. But how the turns table. As you two are conversing, all of a sudden one of the punk's comms goes off and starts to ring. And I'm going to answer it. Alright. There you see on the comm this hollow of a man who's like, You're not Eric. Who the fuck are you? I I'm the guy Eric tried to kill and I spread him across the street. Hello. He kind of looks at somebody uh, off off screen. Obviously, he can't say. He looks back at you with a surprised look on his face. Well, Eric's got my shit. So what if he had it, does that mean you have it? What shit are you talking about? Oh, I don't know. It's let's see. It's in a duffel bag. It's a bunch of stims. Uh, maybe you know. Oh, that that space age drug shit. Yeah. Uh, I accidentally gave one of those to a buddy of mine. Bad idea. We were attacked and it didn't work out. But yeah, I got your shit apparently. He looks off the screen again. Looks back at you. It's like, real bad idea. Why don't you bring that back? And there won't be any problems. I'll tell you that. How about that? If you can guarantee there'll be no problems, I have no problem returning your stuff. I, if we get our ship back, I mean, Eric's not around anymore. So hey, I'm fine with I'm that. Always. Okay, I'm, I'm good with that, too. Uh, give me a location you want to meet at, and I'll bid him out right over there. All right. He sends you the information. It pops up on the comm term. And he ends the call. I'm going to see if Baldrick is uh, back being human. Uh, colors. Baldrick, you smell an amazing uh, something cooking. It smells delicious. Mmm, food. I'm gonna give him one of the rats. Like, e eat this, it might help. Ooh, ratatouille. He hands you a rat. Well, I do what every logical retard would do and devour it. Alright, you start eating the desert rat. Mm, very tasty, very very juicy, I must say. Uh, Kevin Boldrick appears to be uh, somewhat coherent. He's eating the rat. Uh, he's trying to talk. The words are not coming out. Pretty much what he's saying, you you don't hear any of that. It's still just gibberish. Rumble, gibberish. As he salivates and continues, he pretty much he doesn't eat the rat right away he puts it in his mouth and he just holds it there and he starts to like drool a little bit as its fluids get all over his face he's not really chewing he's literally just sucking on this dead rat I, okay I, just don't choke on it there bud okay I, I'm, I'm just gonna see if he has any ill effects from the rat before I eat oh. Uh, I would like a luck check on your side, Baldrick, please. Damn it. <laughs> I knew the rat shot was evil, but I didn't care. The rat was too tasty. I don't think All you right. care about most things right now. Is that a one? Oh. No, sorry, hold on. I, 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 I put a Q by accident. I don't care, that's a one. <laughs> yeah, I put a Q in my bed. <laughs> there we go. Oh. Is it rolling? All right. Oh, a 10. That's nice. Or a 10. Oh, I forgot to put my 4. My bad. Whatever, that's fine. I just wanted the natural roll anyways. <clears throat> um, okay. He doesn't appear to be actually eating it yet, Kevin. He still just has it in his mouth and is mumbling. <laughs> as he kind of just starts to, like, try to suck on it continuously. It's like a lollipop. 
Yeah, fuck it. I'll, I'll eat some rat. I'm like, yeah. What's the worst that could happen? All right. You consume one of the rats you killed. It was a little overdone, but for the most part, it tasted good. Uh, to the point where you can gain four health. I nice. I'm having a satisfactory meal with your zero cooking skill, but whatever. Fucking yeah! It's like okay, okay, Baldry, buddy, pal. We we gotta go somewhere real quick, okay? Keep we, sucking on the rat. I I need you to get in inside the car, all right? I do not move. I keep sucking on the rat. I slap him. <laughs> he gives you a nice slap. <laughs> uh, you mean? Hey, hey, come to. I'm focus, focus. Look at me. Look at me. No, no. Look at me. I'm the captain. <laughs> okay. I need uh, you to get in the car. Why are you want to wait here for my wet? You can do, take it in the car with you. No, here is better. Here you die. Oh, no, me here we wet. Don't make me hit you again. No. They get in the car. Oh, oh. God. Okay, I take wet. Yes, take the rat. I head inside the car with my rat friend. <clears throat> okay. Uh, it takes him a while. Uh, it's like he's moving through a thick cloud of fog, I guess. That's the best way to describe it. Uh, but he does able to pull himself into the vehicle and he ends up laying on the back seat still this time actually he takes a bite of the rat and starts to chew uh, most of it falling back out of his mouth as he lays there going to the seat but he is in the vehicle at least he's in the vehicle yeah I'm gonna pack up my stuff and get in the driver's seat. Alright. <clears throat> you grab the remainder of the wrap and the items around and get in the driver's seat. And, uh, yeah, start heading towards uh, the meetup place. Alright. <clears throat> I will need a D12 roll, please. If we're gonna crash. Alright, <clears throat> it takes you a little bit of time to get there. Uh, you took a couple of, mind you, it's not a big city, however, you took a couple turns that ended up being, well, not the direction you wanted to go. Uh, as the, the comm finally sinks your location and gives you an overlay of directions. Um, Google Maps, it is not. But you approach you the destination as Baldrick. You're you're regaining most of your cognition, your cognitive abilities, as uh, you continue uh. to eat the desert rat and drive through the city of Needless. Rat tasty, rat tastes good. And they give these things what they automatic lobotomization stems. Tasty rat. I'll say your intelligence is... What's your uh, character's intelligence? Oh, uh, with cybernetics or without? Oh, like with everything. Uh, five. <laughs> yeah, it's like a two right now. So you're anon level. You're uh, I'm a retard. Currently anon intelligence. <clears throat> For those that don't know, <laughs> anon has played a lot of games. He's somehow still alive. Uh, and he's uh, not that smart, but he likes grenades. He's a good time. He's in my books, too. Because, you know, why not? Uh, your co cognitive abilities are coming back, though. We'll see. By the time you get there, you're feeling okay. You're still a little sluggish. Anything you do is going to be a negative two. I, I get up from the, I get, I, you know, I sit correctly on the seat and I look at him, I look at him back, Kevin, I'm like, what the fuck did you do to me? I, I gave you drugs, apparently, not, like, the hill you drugs, the good kind of drugs, like, the fun time drugs. 
Well, I, I feel having a great about, time. I feel better, but God, I, I saw like rainbows, colors, and everything was so slow. Do you remember the rats eating you? Uh, what? Oh yeah, oh, yeah. I, 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 what the fuck? Why did you? What? Uh, I'm. Uh, never mind. Yeah, your leg is all chewed up, uh, and it's actually bleeding still. Uh, you were pretty much numb to the pain of it tearing and ripping parts of you off as it got a good meal. Uh, fortunately, or coincidentally enough, you are now eating the rat that was eating you. So, does that oh. count as cannibalism? Hmm. Uh, no, no. Oh, we probably didn't eat the rat's stomachs. Well, yeah. We, we ate the meat. To be strong. <clears throat> All right, uh, you guys are approaching the destination. Where, where are we going, Kevin? Uh, you, you know this bag of shit I just gave you? Well, oh, yeah. Apparently, apparently it belongs to somebody. One of the guys we killed is, was taking it to somebody. And, uh, well, they called up and want their shit back. So we're just going to give them their shit back so we don't have that as a problem number, like, 85 at this point. I look Kevin with a straight face and I'm like, are you sending us to an ambush? Possibly. Oh my god. But I prepare my I prepare my pistol just in case. Okay. You prepare your pistol as you guys approach. Uh where the location they gave you seems to be a uh club. I go with that route. Mind you, oh. it has heated up since you guys left the warehouse. Uh, we're talking about, like, you know, midday right now, right? Yeah. So it is hot. The sun is cooking you guys alive in the vehicle. Um, and at pretty much everything else. There's not that many people in the streets. Uh, there's no bouncer or anything in front of the club by the looks of it. But you're going to guess that there's probably people inside hiding from the sun. All right, Kevin. You got your shotgun ready? Yeah, uh, my headphones are for that. Oh, <laughs> technical difficulties. I, I, I missed what you said there. Uh, I, I just said uh, you got your shotgun ready? Uh, it's always ready. All right, I I zip up the bag, the duffel bag, and you know put it on my back and said, "Let's go in and not get shot." Can't, can't promise that last one, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna look for a place to park. I, I, I look at him with that face and I say, "If I go down again and you inject me with another one of those, <laughs> I'm not gonna like it." Well, I'm about to give these back to their owner, so uh, I don't think you have to worry about that. Good. <clears throat> All right, yeah, there is an actual parking lot with other vehicles in it. Uh, 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 b before before we do anything else, uh, Patrick, I forgot to give you your cut. Uh, here's 15,000 from the 30,000 we had from those uh, guys that we killed. Sweet, that's going to be useful. All right, I, I give him uh, 15,000 credits. Okay. And I give 50,000 and put it in my vault. Transfer 15,000. Uh, you have 18,000 because I said 33,000 total. So He gives you 15. Oh. Uh, Kevin? 8,000. Unless you want to split it right down the middle, Baldrick, in which case tell me. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm being fair. I'm splitting it down, down to the middle. <clears throat> and he gives you half of what I say, 33. Yeah, 33. Uh, you, no, you said uh, three. Um, you, we, we, I gave him 15, so we, I, I give him yeah, so it's 30, 150. 33,000 was the total amount you guys got on the vault cards. Yeah, so. I'll, I'll just take 15. You keep the change. It makes it easier. Okay, you, if you say so. All right, you take the money. You park the vehicle in the parking lot next to other vehicles. Uh, real quick, I want to check the duffel bag to see if there's any, like, booby traps, grenades in it, 
maybe like I don't want this thing blowing up when I hand it over <clears throat> and them blaming me for it. I'd like perception check, please. Both of us, or just Kevin? No, just the guy looking in the duffel bag. Yeah, since Kevin's paranoid, I feel like that's something he would do. It's like a paranoid mushroom yeah. farmer. Ah, it looks fine to you. I, I look at Kevin looking at the bag and I say, If you stab me with another one, I swear to God. <laughs> you, you keep on, we'll stab you with three of them. Oh, God. Be seeing rainbows for days. <clears throat> yeah, there doesn't yeah, appear yeah, to be anything. You up your own medicine. <laughs> All right. Uh, can't grab the duffel bag, put it over your shoulder, and uh, yeah, say, Baldrick, let's go to the club. You walk behind me and watch my back, just in case anybody tries to snatch this thing. Just All right, you guys leave the vehicle and walk towards the club. In the background, you hear the thumping of the bass as you approach the door. I'm going to call up a contact from before, let them know, like, hey, I'm outside the dropout point. He doesn't answer. That's uh, a bad sign. Are you waiting outside, then? Uh, let, look, let's I'll knock on the door and say, hey, can we go in? You knock on the door and say, hey, can we go in? <laughs> I'm just going to open the door and walk in. <laughs> okay, you open the door and walk right in. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> you enter um, <clears throat> pretty much the, the entrance, a uh, little entrance. There is a... a very large or thick looking window in front of you with a counter uh, with a girl behind it who's uh, currently got her legs up on the counter and is reclined uh, going through a comm. Uh, to your left there is a door going into the club where you hear music in the background still. Thunk, thunk, thunk. And on the right side you see a deposit weaponry booth I guess. I forget what they're called but uh, she kind of doesn't. She doesn't do anything as you guys walk in. Yeah, I'm gonna look up on my comm to see what that guy's name was in, in the other guy's comm, because I don't even know who I'm supposed to be dropping this thing off to. Uh, the guy's name is Murder. Lovely name. Very pretty. Uh, so I'm gonna go up to the lady at the counter. Right. Excuse me, miss. I'm looking for murder real quick. She looks up at you from her comm term. Looks at both of you. Put your, deposit your weapons and doors on your left. I thank you. Yeah, that's, yeah I'm going to put my weapons, including the crowbar this time, Okay. into the deposit. Okay. You deposit your weapons. Baldrick is, is contemplating if he should keep his knife with him. He's contemplating, or he does? <clears throat> He's contemplating. What if I, what if he, uh, what if something bad goes wrong? I could stab them. Yeah, no, uh, I would just put it away because we would be outnumbered like 80 to 1. You can cause it to a fucking trap, didn't you? Oh, fuck. I put, I, I, I put, I relent and I put uh, the pistol and the, the knife in there. Is there anything you guys are keeping? You're putting everything in. You said crowbar. You yeah, I'm putting anything. all my weapons in there. Okay. Uh, does a broken MP5 count as a weapon? Do they know it's broken? Give me an intelligence uh, check. No. <laughs> yeah, I, would, I wouldn't, wouldn't try to take that. Alright, fine. I put it in. Alright, you put it in. You swipe your vault card. It shuts and retracts into the wall for you to get later. <clears throat> I mean, worst case scenario, we die. Yeah, you, 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 got, you fucked us up. Or you maybe got us a job. We'll see. <clears throat> she continues to stare at her comm term. Pretty much unbothered by the two of you. Alright, let's head in. Uh, 
Let's, let's go to the door, I guess. All right, you go over to the door. The door is locked. I, I knock on the door. Yo, we're here to drop off your package, bro. No, don't sit. Don't tell him that. Not yet. Not until we find murder. You're just here looking for murder. Well, what do you want me to say? We're looking for murder. She looks up at you guys. Oh, sorry, guys. And she buzzes you guys in. You hear the door unlatch. Give, give her a thumbs up and open the door. Okay. You open the door. You enter a club. The first thing you notice is the cool air that envelops you. It is quite refreshing, especially next to the current temperature outside, which is, well, it's fucking hot. Think of Egypt hot. Hotter than that. Hot. Yeah, that's pretty hot. Hotter than Egypt. I mean, it gets hot. <clears throat> and I only say that because oh, oh, you're over there. Um, actually, that sounds nice right now. Maybe I gotta move. Anyways, uh, yeah, a nice cool air envelops the two of you as you walk in. There is white, looks like strip lighting, LED lighting all over the place, um, but it's very focused, so it's not overly bright. Uh, there appears to be no windows in the place, so it is dimly lit as you see the clouds kind of wafting, and the clouds being a mix of uh, the cool air and uh, hookahs and stems that are around this varying areas. The club uh, has a decent amount of people in it, since it is theoretically, well, night. It's the middle of day, but it's night. People want to stay cool, and this is the place to do it. There's a bar on your right side that goes down the whole length of the room. Uh, different VIP areas off to the left, and stuff. There's some lasers kind of trickling through these hollow projections in the air and the ceiling, uh, which is a cool effect with the lights and the clouds kind of wafting, I guess. Where are you guys going? Uh, well, I... before I, I go text to Patrick and I tell him, uh, uh, Kevin, I, and I go, and I go uh, do, you have a, do we have a picture of that guy? I just have his name and the, the com term. Shit, yeah, try, and, try and hit him up. Yeah, I'm gonna try calling him again. There is no answer. I'm gonna go to the bartender. This larger, yeah. heavily augmented or upgraded person uh, looks at you, the bartender. He finishes up with a couple of his guests, comes over. He is towering. How tall are you guys? We, I'm, I'm five, uh, five four. I'm five five. <laughs> All right, this guy is at least seven feet. So oh, he gee. pretty much looks, he leans over the bar top and looks down at the two of you. What can I do for you boys? I'm just looking for a uh, murder. <laughs> he kind of chuckles, picks up a glass and starts to clean it. Points over to one of the VIP sections. He's over there. You'll know him from Thank his... Stupid mohawk he's got on. And when you see him, tell him he has to pay his fucking tab. Okay, we will. Much appreciated. Thanks for the info. Thank you, good sir. Bye bye. You boys want anything while you're here? You uh, want we'll, it? He says with we'll, a we'll be back after smile. we talk to this guy. Yeah, mm. we'll be back. Kind of just <clears throat> huffs. Turns around, picks up a I bottle, know. and starts to make some drinks. Alright, that's cool. Yeah, I'm just gonna head over there. You guys head over to the VIP section, or one of the sections, I guess, which is your typical uh, My World. It's got couches, it's got a hookah on a table in the middle, and it's got a bunch of punks everywhere. Punks sitting on the fucking back of the couches. Uh, you're, it's probably about eight of them all in that area, all just drinking and doing stims with their multicolored hair and luminescent tattoos. In the middle, you see a larger, not as large as the guy you just talked to at the bar, but a bigger guy. Muscled, also augmented.
Yo, you, uh, you murder? His augmented arms are black. He looks up at you. Notices the duffel bag. Kind of puts his hands or, uh, you know, points to the top of the uh, table in front of him. If that's mine, yeah, I sure am. Oh, if you're murdered, then this is probably yours. I'm going to put it on the table. He gets up, points his finger at you. Yeah, you're the guy I talked to. And he kind of like moves back and forth. Uh, only way I can describe it was sort of like a tweaker. Kind of. Kind of puts his hands up to his, his hand up to his nose and takes sniffs and stuff. Looks at you. Yeah, that's my bag. That's it. That's it. It's mighty yeah, nice of you to bring cool. that uh, bring that over here, by the way, because that asshole. Pff, I'm just happy that uh, you know. Yeah, that's nice. Did, did you guys try any of this, by the way? I just I'm, I'm curious. We accidentally gave it to him because we took some uh, some heavy hits taken out. Old assholes took your stuff apparently. Uh, so so I was trying to heal him up and. Yeah, it looked like a medical stem to me. I'm not an expert. I'm an idiot. Look at me. Oh. Uh, yeah. Uh, I look at them and I say, we just took one, but trust me, don't take them. They're, they're, they're very... They're, uh, I saw rainbows. I mean, that's the point. Don't you want to see rainbows? I want to fucking see rainbows, don't you? He looks over at his group and they're kind of like, yeah, yeah we do. As the lasers and the smoke bellows around you. So, uh, I, I, that's good. You did, so you're, you're saying you didn't like it? Yeah, I'm not, I'm not a big fan. Hmm. That's funny. Maybe Eric got the, got the combination wrong. I mean, we're, we're, you're, you're supposed to like this stuff, or otherwise, why, why would we have it and sell it, you know? Uh, he, he was also not feeling too well when he took it. He was almost completely dead. So... Oh, man, I've been there before. That really sucks. You know, I had yeah. I, I, I was like that once, and this little pink cat saved me. I swear to God, and I wasn't even on any of stims. It was a fucking pink cat. Believe it or not, you're not crazy. We had the same thing happen to us. Oh, shit. Yeah, except on public black. What? Yeah, man, we got jumped, and we're near the edge of death. Took all our fucking money, though. You know, I like yeah. augmentations and upgrades, but I don't think I'd ever want to be in a fucking cat body. That's just weird, you know? I agree. Like, why, why cat body? Why? That's what I mean. teach their own. I mean, you know, whatever gets you off. And he opens the bag and looks into it. It's like, so you only took one, right? One, two, and he starts, like, counting stems. Mind you, there's, there's a pile of these fucking things. He looks back at you guys after, uh, you know, a minute of just, like, trying to count which is impossible to do. He's like, you know what the street Only... value on the shit is, by the way? No, I don't. I'm pretty sure it's uh, quite a bit. That's why I wanted to return it to whoever the fuck owned it, because I don't want you hunting me down. Well, here, let me put it this way. He claps his hands, and uh, one of his fellow punks walks over to you and holds out a vault card. He's like, I appreciate that you guys brought this back to me. You know that Eric? He was a fucking deadbeat. He was he was a fucking loser. He really was. Like, how hard was it to just get our stuff back to us? You know, obviously he's dead. Is he dead? I take it he's dead, right? I, I kind of <laughs> smeared him across the street. Yeah, he's he was in pieces. Oh. Yeah, that, that that was pretty gruesome, I must say. He, he kind of like starts to look at you guys. He's like, I'm, I'm really trying to size up what you two are. I, I'm just not getting it. What 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 are you guys exactly? At, at, at this point, we don't even fucking know, man. I mean, you guys are just like all over the place. I don't. I wouldn't say but wouldn't say you're one of us. Far. You're definitely not corpse. You're definitely not mercs by the looks of it. We're just some honest uh, gentleman trying to find a job. Oh. Ain't no, nobody honest in this town. Fuck it. I guess he used to deal drugs, so this is kind of his world, actually. Huh. I don't know about this. That's 
That's funny yeah, because that see. that armor you're wearing, that's pretty uh that's pretty high tech for a couple of guys like you. Oh, we owe somebody some money as yeah. per usual. Huh. You kind of Like those are nice. Those are real nice. I only know a couple people in town that use stuff like that. Well, you probably know who we owe money to then. So you guys looking for work? I mean, fucking at this point, we're looking for anything we can get. Uh, we're done. The count. Well, I'll tell you what. Since you you've got Eric's comm term, right? Yeah. 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 We still got that. Yeah. I will let you know because I'm probably could find a uh, something for it couple of guys like you to do well we, we seem to be getting pretty good at this bounty hunting stuff so <laughs> he Fuck looks at his boys and kind of like chuckles bounty hunting hmm bounty hunting transport you name it you know Weird. i like this because that's it you do whatever you need to you know what i mean you need to diversify he stands up yeah. he, he reaches in the bag he takes out a couple of stems and hands them to you guys Take these, too. Thanks, man, and I'll take one. Thank you very much. I, I put them in my backpack. You see him reach in, pull out another stem, and inject it in his arm. With a little hiss. And you can almost see, like, a little purple smoke come up from it. It was very interesting. Man, you know, I don't know why Eric was trying to screw you over, man. You're pretty cool. Yeah, well, you know, you know the problems you saved me by fucking killing that guy? You saved me a lot of problems. So I could appreciate a couple of guys like you, whether you meant to or not. You're okay. Why don't you go get something at the bar? Make yourselves comfy, hang out. It's fucking hot as shit out. Uh, uh, not going to turn that down. Cool, yeah, same man. over here. You see him, he kind of just jumps back on his couch and reclines. <sighs> yeah, I'm gonna walk off towards the bar. I go, Before I walk up to the bar, I say, all right, we're gonna go to the bar. If you need uh, us for any job, you know, call us. We'll be ready. He snaps his fingers. I got you. I got you. Don't worry. I look at him, I'm like, my man. All right, <clears throat> you guys, head over to the bar. And bartender turns and looks down at the two of you and smiles. Ah, you came back, I see. That's great. What can I get for you two? Uh, hey, what, a warm shot? Yeah, two, two warm shots, please. Yes, sir. He takes a bottle from the shelf, pours you two warm shots, places the glasses in front of you, and puts the bottle down. Thank kind of you. leans on one arm. It's like, hold on. He pours one for himself, too. Hey, nice. Tony Gus. Holds it up and for you guys to cheers. Let's cheer. Let's do it. Let's do it. I'll, I'll cheer. Cheers. Yeah. Sucks it back like it's water. All right. I guess we have to do the same. So, you boys new in town, he says. A big Somewhat. smile. I've been here for a couple of days now. A couple of days? That's new, I'd say. He pours you guys another one. Thank you. Well, we, we, we've been doing, you know, some, you know, small jobs. We own some guys, some money, you know. Yeah, well, contract, contracting work, you know. Ah. Yeah. It sucks back his worm shot. Uh, yeah. I drink this. I drink uh, this last uh, this glass, and after I flip it over and to say like, signal like uh, I'm, I'm good drinking. You tapping out already? You ask yeah, you I'm chuckle. not a drinker. He's been through a lot recently. He's had a rough day. Well, there's uh, nothing that makes things better than a little bit of worm shine, and he turns your glass back over and pours you another one. So where oh, are you boys so... staying? You got a apartment? Yeah, fine. Well, we hop over to hotels to hotels and, you know, pray for the best. Sometimes do some camping outdoors, you know. Well, that yeah, sucks. Well, you know, I got a nice like, 
air conditioned flat you guys could stay in. Uh, we, we've got some stuff we have to take care of before we can settle down. We're sure about that. He pulls out his comm term. Uh, but I guess we. Take I mean, it's no trouble, really, if you guys, you know, don't want to pay somebody to stay. That's what we. I mean, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll consider it, because uh, until we until until we're not done, that now we're not done with our business, because we have we owe some guys some money, we we're doing some stuff, so when we're done with all that, uh, we'll consider it. She's like, well, here's my information. If you want to give me a call and you need uh, a place I mean, to stay. I open up my comp term and I take his information. I say thank you. Looks over at you, Kevin. Uh, I, I'm I'm gonna pull out Eric's comp term and put his info in Eric's comp term. Oh she oh no. Okay. Oh, like I said, don't hesitate. If you guys need a place to stay, it's a nice big flat. I'll take good care of you. That's uh, thanks for the knowledge. Appreciate the offer. And he goes back over to take care of some other guests at the okay. bar. I look at Patrick and I'm like, well, to our new beginning, I guess. Yeah, well, hey, it looks like we're now just contract killers. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I mean, we're, we owe some guy, we, we kill people, we got some respect out of the streets, oh, pretty good. Hold, hold up, I kill people, you faint. Uh, the first time, I kill people, and then after we both fainted. Okay, that that's fair. Fair assessment. Yeah. Uh, I, I really I really have to get some more armor on me, like, th this is just, like, not enough. Well, we got a little bit of money now. Yeah. Oh shit! We didn't even check that that uh fall card that we just got. Oh yeah, sure. Check it. Well, how how much is on that vault card? On vault card. Thirty-five k. Holy shit! That'd be enough to get you a little bit a little bit more armor. Yeah, that, that's a bit of bread. Uh, we yeah. split it. Now you hold on to that. You probably, since you're gonna buy armor and stuff, you're gonna need more of that than me. Yeah, I'm probably gonna go and repair my MP5 as well. Yeah, you've lost a lot more equipment than I have. Yeah. Well, I guess... I, I take the, the glass that he refilled uh, before he, le he left. I raise it up and say, To our new beginning. Yeah, uh, yeah I'll take a shot with you. Hey. Alright. Let's take another shot. <clears throat> you, uh, do you guys have drinking skill? No. No. That's perfect. All right. Although crazy drunken hobo would be great. You guys are uh, slightly oh. inebriated from having a couple of shots of worm shine, high test worm shine. You're feeling all right. Uh -huh. When all of a sudden, uh, Baldrick, your comm term rings or oh. chimes. Yes, I never know what's a chime or a ring. It rings. You have a call, Ink. Okay. I answer the call. Yes, hello? On the other side, you see Keystone. Oh. Where's my mushrooms? We're getting them, sir. We're, we're, the, the, our, the reinforcements in there are pretty tight. They have like turrets from the roofs and they have uh, some pretty tight security. <laughs> Could you tell us how the the first entry team came in? I don't really care what they have. I want you to get those truffles. Uh, as I recall, you owe me a lot of money, don't you? Yes, sir. And in case yes, you sir. think I really forgot, I didn't. I just thought you were fucking dead. Uh, but now well, you're yes, back. So now you're going to get these truffles, or I'm going to fucking come after you guys. Not me. Don't, don't worry, boy. But I've got plenty of people in town. Last thing don't you guys worry. want is a bounty on your head, isn't it? No, we don't. Because what, what, what's the amount you owe me? Uh, I, I, I don't exactly remember, sir. Hmm. Hmm. Let's just say one-tenth of that bounty. You guys would be dead in an hour. 
So, oh, shit. let's not fuck around anymore, okay? Yes, sir. We'll get it done. He hangs up. I look at pa I look at Patrick and like, oh, we we're fucked. We have to go now. Why? Right, what's up? He still just called. He is not happy. He you're, uh, really? He's not happy with you. Yeah, but let's just say that on both of us, if we don't get those mushrooms, he will put a bounty that apparently in less than an hour will be dead. <sighs> what did you get me into? Uh, at least we lived. That's the. That's what happens. Look, uh, let, let's just pay for our drinks and you know get our stuff and re re armor up and you know take another shot at this. Me, hey, I just had a thought. Yeah, what about it? He just wants truffles, right? Yeah. They don't necessarily have to be those truffles. Oh. All right, I'm, I'm, I'm listening. What, what you got planned? Uh, maybe I can reach out to some of my uh, previous associates to see if they have any freaking knowledge where you might be able to get some easier, more acquirable truffles. Good idea. Or we could just go in guns blazing and, and possibly just die. I prefer the safer option, to be honest. Well, we, we, could, we could try that. I mean, I have a pretty bad history, you know, of getting bullet holes in me. It makes two of us, but... Uh, okay, look, look let, 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 I'll, I'll pay for a tab. Uh, and uh, let's get our stuff and, you know, re, re, um, restock. Let's wait till it might fall at least. Please, alright, well, right, well wanna chill around the club, I guess? Uh, pretty... Yeah, we can do that. Alright, we sit down and, uh, I sit down and I, you know, talk with, uh, Pat, with Kevin. <clears throat> okay. You are talking, are you paying your tab, though? Uh, yes, I, I, w I will pay the tab. Alright, you swipe your hand over the pay pad, uh, your balance comes up to zero. Credits. Shit. The bartender comes over and he's like, I got those drinks for you, boys. Don't you worry. But well, do me a favor. Oh, Give me a call. All right. No problem. Well, I'll, uh, I'll repay the favor. I'll come by when, uh, when we have time. Sounds good, he says, smiling. All right. So, so my bank account is back to where it was. Yeah, you didn't, uh, you had no tab. Well, that was a close call. Oh, yeah, I mean, hey, save money any way we can. Yeah, I mean, well, well, now because of that, you know, I'll, I'll definitely check out this guy's house. I mean, he, he seems like a pretty nice guy. You know, he's chill. All right, uh, in the meantime, Kevin's going to try to hit up any of his former mushroom dealers. Okay. And see if any of them know, like, any shipments of mushrooms, truffles that might be moving through. Because a convoy might be easier to hit than a facility. Yeah. All right. Uh, well, well, <clears throat> give me an intelligence check. Boy. Come okay. on. I believe this. you're smarter than me. You're smarter. I got less brains. Oh. All right. You make a call. You connect with one of your ex associate mushroom farmers in Omega or in the red light district. Your old friends will call him. We'll call him Tom. Tom picks up. Kevin, how's it going, buddy? Tom, my old friend. How are you? Fuck yeah, I've been better, I can tell you that much. Yeah, where are you nowadays? Now we're out here in Needless, man. Oh shit. 
Yeah, my operation got destroyed by milkers, apparently. Oh, I know Fuck all it. about that. I'm in Needless yeah, so too. You're Needless no shit. Man, that should have reached out a long time ago. Well, you know, once those milkers ran through the red light and fucking killed everybody, I figured it was time to get out of there, too, so... Yeah, I'm still looking for the bastard responsible for that one. Yeah, you know, I'd like to get my hands on those guys as well. Yeah, the only thing I've got is a name. I haven't been able to find any other info on them, though. Oh, no? Because I've been trying to keep my ears open. I'm yeah, actually working of... for this guy at this mushroom farm. No shit. Yeah, they're fucking... Guess what they're making, dude? They're fucking growing truffles. truffles. Yeah, how'd you know? Well, f funny fucking story. The bind I'm in? Fucking... Weird needing truffle right now and trying to figure out a way to get some. <laughs> Do you know how rare truffles are, my friend? The fact that somebody's even trying to fucking grow these things. It's as rare as getting a freaking rare steak from a bison. Right. Oh boy, do I know it. Uh, at the moment, we're fucking... I ran into a guy doing work for him and this jackass has way too much money on his head. He owes some big, powerful people a lot of fucking money and they're wanting truffles to clear his debt. And now I've been dragged into it because, well, they saw us together. So, now it's my debt too. Man, that sucks. You know, you do know how much truffles go for, right? Fucking like, he's got to be much. in some heavy debt. Oh, it's, it's heavy. He stole some stuff, apparently. Some very expensive stuff. Well, I'll tell you what, I think we should probably meet up, maybe. You know, talk about it, because there's nothing more I want than to find the fuckers who took our friends out back in Omega. And you and me both, I gotta clear this stuff before I start searching. I give you this, though. One guy's name's Mortis, I found out. Oh, is that so? Oh, yeah. Huh. I haven't found anything else out of them. It's slippery as a snake. They never stay in one place for too long, apparently. That's about right. That's what they said. They were in and out of Omega, or the red light, pretty quickly. Came, started some shit, and then disappeared. The last thing I knew is they were on some fucking sand barge out of, uh, out of an outpost. Midway or whatever. They made it there. Raised all kinds of hell. I definitely like to know where this motherfucker is. I'll tell you what. Why don't we get together? Catch up. Where are you now? Uh, do I know the name of this club we're in? Uh, yeah, it's called the club. Yeah. <laughs> I Next to the bar. Know. Yeah, you know. He the says, "Oh yeah, I know where that is." He's like, "I'll tell you what. I'll meet you in a, like uh, an hour and a half, two hours. It's hot as fuck right now. I don't want to get out." Yeah, that's kind of why we're hunkered down where we're at now. But I will meet you. We catch up and, you know, we'll talk about Mortis. This guy Mortis and uh, Truffles. Fuck, it sounds good to hear from you again, man. Appreciate it. He hangs up. And I, I share all that info with Baldrick. All right. <clears throat> Baldrick, it looks like you might be getting lucky. In more ways than one. As the bartender comes back over, says, Oh, you boys are still here. Let me get you another one. Since nah, we're... nah, we're, we're fine, we're fine. Thank you very much. Come on, Baldrick, don't be rude. You're already Bye. somewhat inebriated and feeling nice. He pours him, holds it up, smiles. Uh, you know, yeah, why not? Cheers, lads. As you have another sip of shine and wait for your old friend Tom to show up and I think uh, what do you think I think that's a good spot right that's pretty good uh, nobody's actually dead at the moment yet yet again uh, you guys are in a somewhat fairly safe spot uh, I will give you experience and stuff at the beginning of the next game if you want. Alright. I, I don't know why 
didn't think about trying to reach out to former mushroom farmers before for this. Well, you know. You lose some, you win some. Fucking... Am I sure that, uh... Kevin's intelligence is a nine? Hmm. Like... Is that true? <laughs> I... Don't know, is it? Yeah, it, it is on the paper. I mean... <laughs> Fucking... But I'm not. In game? I'm not yeah, maybe not so much nine, but... You know, he see, yeah, he's a smart ass mushroom farmer, huh? But you know what? Sometimes smart doesn't equal like street smart. You know what I mean? Yeah. So. Fair like, enough. Yeah, when it comes to like mushrooms and uh, you know different types of fungi, sure, maybe he's really smart with that. But when it comes to like the obvious, meh. You know. Anyways. No, that's that's what Baltic's for. There you go. I feel like, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's leave you guys drinking with the bartender, the seven-foot bartender, you guys who are 5'5". Five, five. Uh, that's, yeah. that's that's a big guy. Um, Aldrich's new boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, sweetie. Oh, yeah, it's going to get fun. Since uh, oh, you good. guys just don't want to die, you know? I'm going to have to bring in some milkers or something, I feel like, at some point. But, I mean, what? That's not how this game's um, work. Yeah. Kevin shutters not again. I reward players for smart playing, you know. And uh, when you don't play smart, then that's when the milkers show up, <clears throat> or okay. you know, just make things interesting. But anyways, uh, yeah, I feel like that's a good spot to stop because now I gotta fucking figure the story out and the directions and all this stuff. Uh, since this is still kind of a one shot, it's now a what four shot or something like that, three shot. Five, five shot, I think. Are we in five? Or yeah, yeah, I think it's five shot. Hmm. Yeah, 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 it's, yeah, it's definitely a five shot. I remember, I remember. All right. Well, I hope you uh, gentlemen yeah, enjoyed your session tonight. Oh, yeah, it's been good. Oh, well, it has been amazing. One of these days, we'll get a couple more players in on this shenanigans, and uh, I'll be able to intertwine all these stories and books and stuff that I'm doing. Which is, uh, yeah, the la I would have played last week, but I've been so busy on, like, the books and trying to um, do hard edits on my story <laughs> that I put up. As a, Literally, I threw it. So that story uh, I sent you, Patrick, you know, the first book. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I threw it up there as, I, I think I told you, this is pretty much just like a draft with a light edit. But now I have some critique people reading it for critique and I'm like and I gotta do hard edit so I'm not don't look like a complete freaking you know uh yeah. image or something but whatever I also plan on nobody reading it so that would give me time to edit and do stuff so it's worked out pretty well yeah indeed it has but anyways well, well I believe I believe next Sunday is going to be like uh, New Year's Eve, I think. Yeah, we'll try, like I said, probably, what, every other? Yeah, yeah next Sunday is, well, next Sunday's Christmas. Wait, 24th yeah. or 25th, I don't even know. And then, yeah, next I think so, oh, Saturday or Sunday. I don't even know anymore. Uh, the first is on a Sunday, too, so that's New Year's Day. I don't know, we'll figure it out. Hmm. When the next game will be. Uh, continue from there. I'll be in touch with you guys. You too. I'll, I'll definitely be around. John, it's been fun. Until next time. Alright. Have a good one. <laughs>